What's going on? Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, did a video, like a month. Um, I've been busy. Uh, tch, fuck, I had an infection. This shit got out of control after they had extracted one of my teeth. Uh, fucking didn't clean it out that good. And uh, shit just kind of sprung back up. And yeah, yeah. So that new job that I had just started, I was out for a week already. So we're off to a good start. However, they do like me there, so uh, they're they're gonna keep me. So that's that's good. Good for me. Uh, it's pretty chill, you know. You just walk around for the most part. Um, out of sight, out of mind. Every now and then, you know, be seen doing something. And, um, you know, a lot of smoke breaks. It's nice. It's nice. And I'm not, like, uh, completely, like, broke off by the time I get off work. Uh, I still got some energy and shit to come to training. So that's really nice. Uh, those hours work perfectly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's starting to slow down a little bit with, uh, with their schedule uh with winter coming up we uh we did start doing some shows inside at uh at beer stop <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little setup uh yeah Nice. Always a good crowd there, whether it's inside or outside. Always a good crowd. Um, we were just there last night for our no Thanksgiving pay per view. Uh, yeah, it was a good show. Good show. Good stuff, man. Damn. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, t t me being on the medication, uh, seems to be a noticeable difference, uh, at least with training, uh, I feel like, and, you know, the coach even mentioned it earlier this week on Monday, um, you know, with each week it's getting, it's showing that I'm getting more comfortable and, um, Oh no, I'm uh yeah, not uh, having so much like anxiety attacks. You know, it's uh, it's nice, it's cool, it helps. Um, yeah, even though uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit more social too. Yeah, coming to the shows, being a little bit more outgoing, just yeah, a little bit more cheerful and happy, you know. Uh, even though, you know, I did, with that being said, last weekend I did eat a uh, quarter ounce of mushrooms to the face. Um, every six to nine months I like to, to get a good trip. It's good for depression and anxiety. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. No, there's, there's tests out there about it. Um, and yeah, it, it, it really does wonders for me. Uh, I could have ate a little bit more. I should have feel like I should have got off a little bit more than what I did. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a good time. It was cool. And, uh, yeah, uh, it did its job. It, like, took some weight off my shoulders of what I was, you know, going through and stuff. Uh, November just isn't a good month for me. It never has been. Uh, I got a lot of homies that died uh, during the month november not all in the same year um yeah like three of them like went and gone in the same well okay so with myron that was that was different that's actually a sad story so with myron he had gotten out of prison uh, a couple weeks later met up with this broad fucking around with her uh fucking I don't, I don't know, overdosed on fentanyl, uh, she, I'm guessing she ran through his pockets and shit, and then just dumped him off somewhere, 
But I guess uh, he was sitting up along a fence or something for a couple of days until somebody had uh, actually like notified the police. And uh, and then, you know, it took him, a, took him a month to be able to ID the body. Uh, they had to do it off the fingerprints and the database. Uh, you know, they found him since he was in DOC. Uh, they were able to ID him that way. And then, um, yeah, no, that was just a sad story. Yeah, rest in peace. Myron, youngster. Uh, got another homie that died. He, uh, he tried to uh, get sober. Um, quit drinking. He was a bad alcoholic. He just uh, came to the realization that he was going to quit drinking. And about two weeks later, all of his organs and kidneys and shit just shut down. And uh, uh, put him on life support and ended up just having to pull the plug on him. Um, about 15 years ago or so, my best friend, he died from an Oxycontin overdose. Um... And, uh, me and him had this, uh, plan to go fucking rob a house, uh, get the pills, go sell the pills, make some money and stuff. But the broad that he was fucking around with, uh, she wanted to take him, so she convinced him to keep me out of the lick. He didn't answer my calls that day. So I showed up over to his house or to their house. She was at work. Dude was passed out on the couch, um, and, um, you know, he was breathing and shit. It was like an every, an every night thing for him to be, like, completely incoherent. Um, you know, you gotta sit there and try and wake him up for a minute or two, and he'd just be like, oh, what the fuck? And then, uh, you know, just reach, reach for the 40 again. You know, he had problems. Just like me, shit, we got along great, man. Yeah, black sheep of the family, and fucking. Well, when I left, you know, he was still breathing and shit, but I got a call at about like six o'clock in the morning saying that Miles had, had overdosed. Yep. Uh, yeah, long. Long time ago, but, uh, you know, that shit still weighs heavy on me. Um, try not to put too much guilt on myself. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, uh, I didn't know that much about the whole, you know, drug abuse stuff and the pills as much as I do now. You know, I didn't. I was pretty fucking naive to all of it back then. Um, you know, knowing what I didn't know now, yeah, I should have called the ambulance and stuff. It was also a hard predicament because he also was, you know, had warrants. He was on the run. So it's, it's you know, I don't know. But either way, you know, I got, I got a bunch of guardian angels for sure. But yeah, November's just a shitty month. And then... Near the end of the month, uh, way back when, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was like 20. Hell, maybe I was 19. Now I reckon I just turned 20. So this is how it went down. Uh, I had like no other option but to do the adoption thing for my firstborn. Um, me and, uh, my wife at the time just didn't have our shit together, you know, young and whatever, you know, we just had no business even fucking being together, really. Um, uh, anyways, I got, I got her pregnant, fucking did the right thing or so I thought I married her. So fucking, you know, a couple months later, maybe like, yeah, exactly six months later ended up, um, um, giving my son up for adoption to a, uh, a couple that wasn't able to have, uh, kids of their own later. They did 
end up having kids of their own and you know he has sisters um and but yeah he went to a good home uh he's given a better life than what me or her could have provided for him the selfish thing would have been to to hang on to him and it it we we just didn't have our shit together it wouldn't have worked Anyways, so we gave her son up for adoption. The next day was Thanksgiving. Find out that my wife is cheating on me. The day after Thanksgiving is my birthday. And then, well, wife leaves me. And then, yeah, no, November's just a fucked up month, man. Um, every year, something, something bad Something fucked up happens during winter. It sucks. But um Yeah, no, nah, life is good, man. I mean job's going good. Right now I'm at the arena and we're doing T V tapings. Um Yeah, that's cool, man. Fuck. I really like life, man. It it ain't fucking half bad right now. I'm able to hang out with a lot of cool people on the weekends. Big Daddy Mo, that's your name? Yeah, but Well, you gonna be, I'm going to be your daddy tonight, so get in here. Oh, yeah? It's going to be all night long. What's your wife going to think about that? Don't worry about what I got at home. All right, I'm a player. She know what's up. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, you know what? You know what's your name? Uh, a GCW show came to uh, Denver not that long ago. That was cool. I didn't. I ain't have no part to do with that. Really, what we did was we just let them use our building. Um, I helped set up for it, and uh, I stuck around about two and a half hours after the show, picking up all of the glass and the wood. Having to fucking spray the canvas down with a power washer at fucking midnight. Getting all the glass and blood off the shit. Yeah, no, it was it was a good show, man. It was a good show. What I need to start doing is like actually keeping like up to date with these vlogs, like throughout the day, just pick up the phone and be like, Hey, I'm doing this. Hey, look at how much fucking weed I stuffed into this blunt for lunch. And it just, cause like getting backed up and behind on all of it, it's like, it's harder to remember what all the fuck happens and shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I've just been busy. Just been super busy. And long days. And remember, the link to start your training at Rocky Mountain Pro uh, is down in the description. Uh, subscribe to Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to me on my channel. Like some videos. Share it. Uh, make sure i'm a little bit more consistent with the videos and the uploads and yeah check it out next week